Actually, I know how to do that. I got a great idea. We we'll build a second tower next to it, and then you have a bridge going to the um, ship, the rocket. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, the core is going to be at the bottom for this booster. Because you'll have to just push E. Do you know what I mean? So we build mm. it straight. We dock it to the bottom. Build it straight up. And then when he, when it, when we undock, just push E and off it will fly. You can even rotate it as well if you double shift. As you're going up. Which should look pretty cool. Yeah. And then as soon as we're in space, open the doors and get the salvage ship out. And then we could even bring it back. Haha, <laughs> reusable orbiter. Oh. oh. Well, there is two of us. One of us can just come back with it, you know? Yeah. Someone gets in the salvager and then the other just uh, relance the ship. Yeah, and if you've got a blueprint, can't you trade me the blueprint and I can just make another salvage ship, dock another one, and then come up? Yeah. I think so. The only problem would be computers. They're freaking super expensive. We don't have the materials for two computers. I'm still waiting for the day-night cycle to end, by the way. It's looking awesome with the shaders. Just watch as the red lighting takes over. We should set up a logic system that just lets us turn the lights off at daytime. Yeah. It's a shame you can't get a day-night sensor. They'll probably add one eventually. Hmm. But it'll probably be dodgy though. Hmm. So how high is the oh, uh, we first could use a white logic hole clock. clock gonna be? Say what? Uh, no mind. A Y hole clock? Yeah, a Y hole clock. It's two storage blocks linked with a knot block and an activation block in a special way so they loop through each other, one Y hole. And that's 10 seconds. So if the service server day is 1600 seconds or something, then you only have to put 160 Y holes in the clock, set it running, and every 160 it'll change the state of a switch, which could be linked to the light system. Oh. So it would work, yeah. You only need two storage blocks, one activation and a knot. I think we managed to get it down to four blocks. Mm. We'll have to probably uh, do some research into the Y-hole clock's abilities. Yeah, man, why holes? Ah, no, there are ways to do day-night sensors without light. For example, in Minecraft, lol, uh, I, I, I say it because we don't bring it up much. Basically, what there's a way of like a behavior in mobs, right? When it's night time, the mobs go indoors, so they put a trigger on the doorway and fence the mobs, so they had to go in or out. Yeah. So as soon as the light, the dark night, the, uh, the sun came up, the mobs came out and triggered the switch. It's a very clever system. You just only allow one mob. You know, so it can only be out or in. It can't double trigger. It was really simple. And then Mojang just brought out a block for it. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah. By the way, is uh, gravity blocks advanced? Um, I think they might be. I'm not sure. I haven't. I haven't really looked. I'll go check it out. I'm gonna go mine up. I'm gonna go park. Why hole? Yes.
it requires Nox and Alloyed Metal Mesh. I guess we don't have Nox. I think I do have Nox, actually. No, I've got knacked. Damn it. Damn it, Tim! We've also got all the holes done and the wedges are done. Excellent. There is promise in you yet. Oh, uh, what? What you talking about? I don't know, but I've got enough to make my make my super awesome ship. Oh, General, what have you done? What? What? It looks great. It's gonna be great, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be really great. No, I'm getting a good vibe from this. I'm gonna be one of the locals and go and look at it from afar, right? Because this is a restricted area. <laughs> that reminds me, I should put up a fence somewhere. Oh no, I didn't make it. I fell into the valley. Oh no, why hold me? Figuring out how to do a uh, stairway up in this tower. Wow. 